Hey guys, today is March the 10th of 2021, and I wanted to go over Uranium Spot and Uranium Futures using Dolly GAN Price and Time Technical Analysis. Please forgive me of my uh, voice. I have allergies out here in Nashville. This is the season when they hit you hard, and uh, my nose is just clogged up. Hopefully that makes sense, and uh, you can hear me and understand me well. So with that being said... Big disclaimer there. Let's get into the charts. I got a couple of positive things I wanted to show you. Uh, we first off, first off, we're going to start off with the uranium futures. This is a weekly chart. And what I've been noticing is that the uranium uh, futures, it looks like it's doing an ABC correction. Right now, we've kind of paused at the 61.8 Fibonacci number at 2750. Uh, this is a target I have. It just continue going lower, you know, big support, you know, trend line. And uh, so far, it's it's stalled right there. Using price and time uh, GANS technique, you can see that it was a high of 34 and change. So we look out 34 bars weeklies into the future, and we hit that right here. But prices continue to uh, go lower. And one of the reasons why I wanted to show you that is that on every technique and everything you do in regards to a technical analysis, it doesn't work 100% of all the time. It could work a couple of times, but the, the times that it works, it's great. It works out. But sometimes when it doesn't work out, you got to you know continue rolling along and use other measures and continuing doing your research. But as right here, you can see that it did not work out. If we go into the daily of this chart, the current contract, you can see that we are kind of stalling right here, and it looks like there's some interest. Uh, the MACD is still uh, negative, but it stopped at the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci number. So that's that's a plus. I mean, it's happened here too, but let's see what happens uh, on this price level. Now we go into UX2 and we go into the weekly. Uh, same thing here. This is a contract in front uh, and it's 34 bucks. I mean, 34 and change. And if you go into 34 weeks from here, you can see that we actually hit it here. So we're right at the cusp of that could be a possible turning point. Uh, the only way we're going to know this, if price action is going to reflect that and just start going to go, you know, making higher highs and higher lows and retest this 28.75, which is the, uh, which was support and now is resistance. And you can see same pattern playing out, A, B, C, correction. And maybe it stalls here. Uh, or maybe we go a little lower. Uh, but for right now, it's stalling here. Uh, and this is a, uh, target points I have if we ever get down there uh, in my opinion I think that's going to be a great buying opportunity uh, but I doubt it gets down there but we'll see and uh, that's where we're at right now we just hit price in time so now we have to see what price is going to do if it's going to now turn around and change uh, to the up you know direction upside uh, if we get closer and look at the daily, as you can see, the MACD, now it's about to uh, turn over, get some positive, you know, histogram right here. Uh, we got a low of 27.25, and the same price action is kind of, you know, pausing here, consolidating. So it's looking very promising uh, if uh, we're going to, you know, we are done with this correction and now continue the trend higher. So I wanted to get that out of the way, just show you that on the uranium futures, what I'm noticing. Next thing I want to show you is the uranium spot price. This image right here is uh, uranium spot price. And these are cycles of uh, 312, 173, and the dominant cycle, which is 47. You take all those three cycles and what we call in cycle world, uh, create a composite. Pretty much as you merge all three, create one cycle. This is what we're getting. And 
What's positive about this uh, cycle and this uh, image I'm showing you here is that we're bottoming out here. So if the cycles are going to play out with a price action, then, you know, we're very close to a bottom. So what the image I showed you on the futures with the 34 bar price and time meeting, these uh, uh, important cycles that I picked with the, with the strongest strength in regards to uh, spectrum analysis, Merging them together, it's looking very promising. All we have to now wait and see is that price, uh, spot, and futures reflect this. And for whatever reason, it starts just turning and starts resuming the trend higher. And as you can see, that the stocks already got a head start. And now they kind of sold off a little bit and uh, consolidating. Uh, this peak right here goes all the way to 2023 of July, somewhere around there in that ballpark. So, we, you know, it remains to be seen. I'm very optimistic. I see the signs and everything is looking promising that we could potentially continue going higher. You may ask me, okay, so how high can we go? I don't know. I know it's going to go high. I have a ballpark. Gantz says that, you know, price action always returns to the center of gravity. Uh, so if you take the low of 1850 and change and take the high of, of 100 and was 136 22 the medium point which is a center of gravity will be like 70 ish bucks 75 73 72 somewhere around there so that'll be the midpoint so i i you know according to that theory i think uh uranium spot is going to get to that level and return you know to the center of gravity once it gets there uh it could continue going higher but at least it has to get to the to the center point. Uh, and then, you know, from there, whatever happens, happens. So I figured I'd just put, put that out there. And lastly, uh, I had to do some uh, housekeeping uh, here with my chart because it was getting a little crazy. This is the uh, RSI. I kind of relabel things, organize things a little better, put more important things that I want to see bigger like the swing low and the swing high. As you can see right here, we did an 1850. If you go like 182 weeks out into the future, you know, we hit that high here from price and time. So you see here it worked out. So again, theory, you always have to be applying this theory and I'm assuming it's going to work. And when it doesn't work, you know, there's other forces, other, you know, variables, other things are affecting it that are greater than this price and time. But this is the starting point. And you can see that right here it worked out. Now, where did it work out? Right here. We made a high of 33.93. And we go 33.93, you know, weeks out, which you, you, ran the, you, you rounded off into 34. It was right here. And prices continue lower. So it's not going to be so perfect that we go all the way up here, turn here. We made a high of 33, go 30, 34 weeks out. And then from here it goes, it's not that perfect. It's not going to be like that because then we'll all be rich. There's going to be other little, you know, curve balls thrown where now it's continuing. This didn't play out. So then you just continue researching and seeing, you know, where it's going to find support, where it's going to find resistance, where are the possible turns. And that's my job and that's what I do. So look at the cycles. We started our spectrum analysis. I'm going to do this real quick. I want to get this under 10 minutes. You can see they're all bottoming out here. Uh, so that's kind of lining up here. Uh, these are a couple of cycles that I've picked the most important ones. So this is going to be a key turning point. Uh, if you take all these cycles and merge them, like I showed you earlier, as a composite, uh, the bottom will be somewhere around June. So you got to keep that in mind if, that's, if it's going to go uh, continue going down there. So that could be a possibility. Next thing is using a uh, neural net. I wanted to see how the machine learning will play into this uh, uranium spot since it's a dinosaur that we're using over here in regards to price action. And I used it to train from the high here onward. So, you know, I made a buy here. That didn't work out. Made a sell. That didn't work out. A buy here. That kind of worked out, but then it sold off. Another sell. And then the buy here. And what's interesting about this buy on June you know, March, last week, March, June, uh, is that this one lines up, interestingly, with the cycle. 
the composite that I showed you. So something to keep on your radar or on my radar. Uh, lastly is the uh, harmonics of that uh, spectrum analysis I showed you. Uh, it's showing a bottom somewhere between March. Uh, this was in March. So March and June is very hot in regards to a possible swing bottom or turning point. But all this right here is kind of really hot. You know, March, April, May, June for a possible turning point. It says this is a dinosaur in regards to price action. It's going to reflect that. So looking at spot and futures, futures is probably is a better gauge because you can see it in real time compared to this. Uh, but I have it on my radar just to see what's going on. Uh, lastly is a Fourier. Using it from this swing low to this swing high. Let's see what the future is looking like. There's a bottoming right here. Uh, it came in early. Prices, you know, it's kind of pushing lower sideways. So this one came in early, uh, but it's, the projection is that it's going higher. So hopefully you like this video. Subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the uranium spot and futures using WDGAN price and time technical analysis.